I appreciate that you do realize how much of an impact you have on people. Um, I mean, it's 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 past your neighborhood. It's worldwide, especially young people. And having come up from where you came up from and living in and around that, you know that gangs are damaging to our community. It has tremendous impact on kids and young people who think this is cool, this is what I wanna do, look at him, he's a millionaire. I can do that by being, you know, a, a gangster in the streets. And that's not true. What you're likely to have happen to you if you're a gangster in the streets is you get shot, you get killed, or you get thrown in prison. And those are, you know, by far the most likely outcomes. And, you know, you saw, you've been in here watching the trial, and you've seen the pictures of Mr. Ryan posing with a gun as big as he is at 15 years old and going out and shooting and killing another teenager. And that's what gangs do, and that's unfortunately a lot of what rap music does. I know you're talented, and even if you choose to continue to rap, you need to try to use your influence to let kids know that that is not the way to go, and that there are ways out of poverty besides hooking up with the powerful guy at the end of the street selling drugs. I know that happens for protection sometimes, but a much better way would be getting an education and setting, you know, hanging around with people who set a good example. And you be one of those people that sets a good example. Um, I mean, all right, so that's, that's my high horse on that. I could also go on. Um, but I, I want you to try to be more of the solution and less of the problem. All right?